Well, happening in the district right now, there is an education program that meets the needs of Africans in America created by the organization National Black United Front. Yeah, it's called the Enjoy We Use See Saturday School and provides an African-centered approach to science, technology, engineering, and math, of course, STEM. So here to tell us more is Salim Adolfo, is National Vice Chair of the National Black United Front. Good to have you here with us today. Thank you for having me on, sir. Yeah, this is great. So tell us, how many students are involved and, and what exactly takes, uh, takes part in this? We usually have about 10 to 12 students, but because their families are asked to participate, like their grandmothers, guardians, brothers and sisters, or uh, any other adult that they're with, the class usually around 20 to 25 students. And what we like to do is to use the principles of Kwanzaa and science to create a family learning environment to help supplement what they may not be getting in the mainstream school system. And, and involving families and their parents and their loved ones, that's a huge part of this and a big part of the success for these students, right? Yes, I believe so because um, what we see in our community, especially in uh, Southeast D.C., is that students are often left alone, last key children, so they come home and then they're there left to do homework maybe by themselves. Mm -hmm. And obviously that the community isn't at the level where it needs to be. But when you have the family involved in the learning process, we're able to see students excel more. And I think that's just something that we've been able to see historically over time. We've heard of uh, STEM classes before. It's a great program. Um, why did you feel a need to, to maybe tailor it a little bit? for the African-American students you're trying to reach? Well, I think that when we see some of the social ills that happen in society, I think it's because a lot of children aren't taught to how to maintain control of the resources in their community. So, you know, we need uh, scientists in our community. And when we look at science, we just don't look at somebody who's able to just do an experiment. We look at somebody who's able to take the resources from the community and use them for the benefit of the community. That's why we call it an African-centered approach to education, because we want to put the, the people in the community at the center of what we're doing and teach them how to become the controllers and producers in that community as opposed to being consumers. And, and when you look at the mathematic and scientific fields, African Americans, there's a, completely underrepresented in those mm -hmm. fields. We were showing some uh, photos from your classes oh, and you've sorry. got um, some students there and they were playing with this little contraption that you brought. So can you tell us what this is and explain what you do with the kids? Right. We were teaching the children about the greenhouse effect and we were teaching them um, how to use just some basic things from around the house so that that right there is a water bottle. Okay. What they did was they created a weather station and they were able to uh, document the change in temperature in a, maybe about 20 minutes with the gas that was kept inside of the bottle. Okay, so this little thing on here, we have a, a big storm chaser, and this is an anemometer, isn't that correct? Yes, ma'am. I know that thanks to uh, Jackie Jarrett and Eileen Whalen, because we That's have it right. on top of ours. Um, and what else do you have on here? Is this a barometer? Uh, this is a barometer, then we also have a thermometer. Okay. Um, and because, well, we're not inside, we're inside right, right. now, but so if we were outside, you will see the different changes in all of the directions and things like that, and you will be able to tell based upon the temperature if the, uh, if it was hot or if okay. it was colder. Very cool. Hmm. Kids love stuff like this. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing when we can see children be, you know, just inspired to learn. Yeah. And, you know, African people have been around forever and you know, we were the ones who created mathematics and science and oftentimes children don't know that this was something that they were you know, doing mm -hmm. years ago. They just think sometimes that our history starts you know, with slavery in America but mm -hmm. it goes way back. How do you pick the, the children the, and the families that are going to be a part of this? Well, we go uh, into the neighborhood and get many of the children in the neighborhood, as well as we ask members of the organization or other organizations. One of our co-sponsors, uh, Black Swan Academy and WEAC Radio Station, they have children within their network. So we, we, we want to keep the, the classes small so we can give the children individualized attention. Mm -hmm. um, so you mentioned that you kind of mixed the principles of Kwanzaa yes, with the STEM instructions. How do those two things mesh? Well, like I said, when we, one, we use uh, cooperative economics as a, a way to help bring things in in terms of raising money. Uh, when we talk about food, nutrition, history. So all of those different things are part of what goes into making an institution. And it's not just the specific lesson in and of itself. We try to deal with the holistic approach. And so when we're talking about unity, we show the children that, hey, you have someone who is uh, a doctor someone who is just a community uh, service member, someone who is a business person. They're all here to help educate and teach you and your family. So we see one of the principles like unity. 
and everybody chips in. We don't take any corporate sponsorship or we don't, we're not getting any federal or government grants so that everybody in the community makes a donation. So that's cooperative economics. And sometimes, you know, when you're putting something together, you're not able to see it come into fruition right away, but you've got to have faith. Yeah. So that's the principle of Kwanzaa. And we wow. try to bring that and show the children all of the different elements that it takes to make the project happen. Wow. Very, Very cool. cool. So the Enjoy It, we use the Saturday School. Um, fourth year you've done this? Yes, sir. We started off uh, once, uh, uh, maybe like two or three weeks in the summertime a few years ago. And then, you know, we just began to grow and we added on. So now we go every quarter. That's oh, awesome. Nice. Awesome. Website for folks that might be interested or may want to find out maybe how oh, to give. <laughs> yes, ma'am. NBUFDC.org. Once again, that website is NBUFDC.org. People can find out information, register, and make a donation. Okay. It's really interesting. Very really cool. Really interesting. Yeah. Celine, thanks for coming. Thank you. All right. And good, good luck. luck. I was yeah. going to say good luck this year. <laughs> <laughs> School gets back in session. That's right.